Well, there's been a big setback for Flint. Millions in federal funding are not heading to the vehicle city after a surprising, or surprising move by Congress. Now, at the same time, uh, residents are finally getting some relief from the outrageous water bills. Let's bring in consumer investigator Hank Winchester with more. Uh, this uh, bill battle's been going on for months now, Hank. It has. It's been going on for a long time. Also, the promise that money was coming to Flint. We're talking about $30 million that was promised to Lansing. Well, now the mayor is speaking out today saying finally people will get some relief from their high bills. And she's also talking about removing more pipes in the vehicle city. The people of Flint finally getting some financial help with their bills. Statements soon being sent out showing homeowners the credits they will receive. This is all part of the $30 million set aside to make sure people do not have to pay for water they can't even drink. We will be holding public meetings around the city after customers in each district receive their statements. And we want residents to have the opportunity to ask questions and get clarification on the credits and how they were calculated and applied to their accounts. Earlier this week, researchers at Virginia Tech revealed flushing toilets regularly could help the system get back on track. The mayor is now working on a timeline to get the word out to residents about flushing and which homes should flush and when. Having said that, this plan is not keeping the mayor away from her larger vision. This does not change our plan and uh, what we're talking about as far as getting pipes replaced. We are continuing to push forward and we believe that the residents of Flint deserve new pipes. And in terms of federal funding, today a big setback for Flint. The energy bill moving forward without new funding for Flint. Utah Senator Mike Lee earlier objected to the way money was being set aside for the vehicle city. And because of that prior hold, the action moved forward today without an additional $250 million for Flint. All is not lost, though. That money could still be added, but doing so could take time. And also, it could be a logistical nightmare. Senator Stabenow now saying today from Washington that she's very disappointed this funding moved forward without money being set aside for Flint specifically. Uh, as both of you know, even if they go back and try to add that money, yeah. it's not going to happen overnight. No. It's going to take a long time to get that money Look to how Flint. How far it's been already? Right now, the mayor's had this fast track program for removing the pipes. What's the funding picture there then? Now? Well, it's very limited. I mean, that's only 30 homes, and she's yeah. hoping to remove pipes all over the city of Flint. Again, this is really going to come down uh, between a battle between the mayor and the governor. Uh, the governor wanting to take a wait and see approach, see if treating the pipes will help. Right. Uh, the mayor says that the people of the city just don't trust that plan, that they want the pipes out. So we're going to have to Can't wait and see them. how this plays out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Hank. Sure. We'll stay on top of it, that's for sure.